Oh, I really like this section. Oh, wait, that's amazing. That was a nice shot. Yeah, I like the move set. It's very elegant, and they they very cleverly framed her within the clouds, right? So then her blues aren't obscured by the blue of the sky, and it makes her pop even more. No, you need to wake up. <laughs> How was the show? What? I can't hear you. Wake up. Good morning. My name is Philip. You may have seen my film work from China or some of my documentaries. Today, I'm going to be analyzing the cinematic language of Genshin Impact character demo. Lynette, cat in the box. I know many of you are excited for Genshin Impact 4.0, which I believe is now out. So I'd love to hear about in the comments. What do you guys think of it? Who's your favorite character? Who are you pulling for? Have you got Lynette? Make sure to please check out the other videos we're doing on this channel and make sure to subscribe if you're new. We're going for 25,000 subscribers and drop a like on the video if you can. All right, Mihoya, what have you cooked up for us today? Pleased to make your acquaintance. I am Linny's magic assistant. All and right. if you have work-related inquiries, please ask Linny. If you have <laughs> questions related to seeing a magic show, please ask the ticket office. She's like, if you got anything, ask somebody Since else. Linny, I'm not doing it. <laughs> I like the music. It's, it's a good boring. vibe. Say some strange things. Ooh, ooh, I like that a lot. The spotlight was a very nice touch there. Elegance in the shadows, Lynette. A magic assistant, a few words. Her emotions are as inscrutable as any cat's. Oh, she's, she's really playing into that. It's awesome. Now, somebody said she's actually the sister of Linny. She has cat ears and a cat tail. He doesn't. What's going on here? Please tell me, lore masters. And let's move on. I really like the music. That was a nice shot. Yeah, I like the move set. It's very elegant. There's a lot of skill. There's a lot of precision. I love the music. Yeah. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, that's that's a beautiful angle. Yeah. Very very beautiful composition. The blue roses, of course, using a lot of color here. The blue sky, the roses, and there's just a good composition. The leading lines of this horizon, mountains, leads down to her. Really makes her stand out, and they, they very cleverly framed her within the clouds, right? So then her blues aren't obscured by the blue of the sky, and it makes her pop even more uh, under, the, under the white clouds. And, of course, these blue, notice there's a little bit more of a muted blue on these flowers, and even the green because of the distance. It's uh, how light works is, is a little bit more gray because it's so far away. So it just makes her blues the most rich in the image. And for that reason, it's very well designed. Very well designed. All right, let's continue. Oh, oh, I love that too. After the sun this goes is there like down, these aqueducts? The desires hidden in people's and hearts Fontaine. will rise to the surface. Oh, I really like this section. Oh, wait, that's amazing. Okay, we're getting something special here. Yeah. Let me take the heat. I like that little mysterious section. I want to go back and look at that one. That's awesome. <laughs> Why don't you hey, it's Linny. I know him from that magic show. It's fantastic. No, and that's the guy that was asleep. No, no, no. That guy needs to wake up. <laughs> shows are spectacular. I really like that ending. Should I reserve a ticket for you? It was awesome. Right, I want to look at a few different things here. It was really good. How do you guys rate this as compared to Linny's? Obviously, this is a four-star character, and that was five stars. So there's going to be a little bit of difference in the budgetary uh, allowances that they have for this video. But I thought it was great. Guys, make sure to subscribe. Like I said, if you're new, I want to look at a couple sections here. It was really well done. Uh, I want to see a couple things here. I am Linny's yeah. magic assistant. Linny's magic assistant. Inquiries, please ask Linny. What is going on here? This is like a dog that's been highly stylized with like a... Is that a... Is that a living being? Yeah. I think this is like a... That's a creature I've never seen in Genshin. The ticket office. She's like, yeah, I don't do anything. I don't deal with it. Seems uh, Fontaine looks really fun. Have you guys enjoyed exploring the city? Funny is saying some strange things again. And what does she mean by that? Is that in relation to the story? It's really great now. Yeah, so... I was trying to figure out this. This is not a lighting convention that they generally use in the Genshin um, engine. And it, I'm trying to wonder if, in fact, it is the Genshin engine. But I don't think it'd be hand-drawn. So it has to be something uh, has to be something different along those lines. And it looks really cool, though. I was just curious how they did it, if anyone knows. This is great, of course. The live 2D art really popping. And it's a good transition from that spotlight. I really like it. I do like it. Yeah. 
Yeah, I really like that too. Her her fighting style is very elegant. Like I said, it's very clean. Now this is a shot I do want to look at in a little bit more detail. Uh, that's a great shot, and this transitions right into this juicy, juicy backflip shot. That I really like. So that's great. We cut from the other shot. You get to see sort of the, sort of the the scale of what she's doing. This was a really wise choice for the first shot in this this action move here to capture it. Then the second shot, we get this beautiful kinetic feeling. And that was a really good choice by the director here. There's a little bit of depth of field here, as in she's in focus and the other subject is not. And it's just the camera moves with this beautiful, as she does the flash kick, which is a martial arts tricking move. The camera moves down. You see that beautiful kind of motion line. And then we come back out to capture the scale of the move. It's very well done. Yeah, very clean. Very nicely captured. Over here. And these seem to be some of the enemy. Oh, okay. So this might have answered one of the other questions I had. She has this like this other form here. Over. I'm trying to see what this is. She has this scarf, and maybe it's like part of the magic show. But she transforms. Yeah, look at this. This is what I was seeing in that kind of mystery section, which we'll look at again in a second. What is the secret behind that? And it's almost like a dash attack that she has. It's really interesting. Look at that. Wow. Some really cool, like, magical effects on her movements as well. And there's that shot again. It really is a standout. This will not be a standout to a lot of people because, you know, people really love uh, close-ups of the character. But this really is probably the best image in the entire trailer. It's a very well done uh, composition, like I said. I love this section. This is the one I wanted to look at. Um, and this this is really cool. It's kind of evocative of Fontaine when you have you know the water surface. The reflection is a little bit off, right? Something's going on here that we don't know about. After the sun goes down, the and there's a good transition to the going under the water again. We get the nighttime. We get the the other situation. Desires hidden in people's hearts will rise to the surface. And yeah, this this idea of. Uh, of running on the clock she's kind of speaking in poetry it's, it's just kind of really interesting and it makes you wonder what's going on here and like i said this this almost feels like something you'd see in an anime intro this is really stylized imagery um maybe, maybe it voices something about the, the thematic elements of the character um it's kind of abstract but beautiful and this is that other form again yeah and even that like this is a shot typically you wouldn't see in genshin um, just kind of form and, and shape and using that to create a cool image. And that, I want to see that frame. It's that same sort of lighting convention, again, that you don't really see in the Genshin engine. It doesn't seem like it's possible with the engine, but I don't know. It's interesting. Let the magic begin! Yeah. Let me this is a great section here. Everything's just coming together. Um, this is a shot I want to break down. It's very clean. Uh, this shot right here just throws the scarf off. Beautiful spin. You have the moon up here on the upper right third. Just a great image again. But as she spins, we have this glorious little cut, which is interesting because if you notice, there's a lot of time how action, action cuts work. Uh, sometimes you don't want to start. You don't want to cut exactly in the sort of uh, continuity correct place. So you notice she already did the turn of her head. But we're going to do it again. We're going to show the turn of her head again because look at the beautiful camera movement that that motivates. So a lot of the times there is uh, sort of a, a better reason to kind of just allow the art to speak. So, it's you know, there's different schools of thought on that. Um, a lot of some people might say, like, that's incorrect, but um, I think it works well for this. Let me take the heat. Let's watch it now all the way through. Yeah, I think because it's so quick, that was the correct choice there. Um, and again, to, to show that beautiful shot and the movement, uh, you could have also cut the other shot earlier, but I think it looked really good too. So it's just sort of a, you know, a question of editing science and uh, what you think is what you think is correct. What do you guys think? I'd love to hear what you think. If you would preferred it was, you know, perfect continuity or if you preferred this more stylized approach. Um, again, in this case, it's a trailer. It's not like a full a full film scene. So I feel continuity is even less important in this sense. But. 
<laughs> okay, I can see the guys too. And then this is great, right? This is it. Like, uh, and I'm, I'm wondering, does he actually show up, or is it just showing how he would fight as himself? Stage. Yes. Take no, you need to wake up. <laughs> how was the show? Uh, yeah. What? I can't hear you. Wake up. It's funny because this last shot reminds me of Raiden. Shogun. There's no, no, none of the same feelings or anything like that, but it's a similar shot. Uh, how he punched in pew, on Raiden at the beginning of her trailer. So it's kind of cool to see that. And she's like on top of Fontaine or something. Evening shows are spectacular. Should I reserve a ticket for you? I'll take one ticket for me and one for my lady. Thank you so much. Anyways, I really enjoyed this, guys. What do you think? There's the best shot right there. There's the best shot. You might not have guessed it, but that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. I hope you had a great time uh, and you're having a good day. Let me know what you want to see next uh, from any games, by the way, not just Genshin. I'd love to, uh, to get tips for other games. I've been pushing a video out every day here on the channel for as long as I can here. So let me know what else to, there is to react to. We're also still working on FF16 live over on Twitch if you want to come chat. But you guys are the best. Have a lovely day.